outside of the northern Chinese city of Changchun, down heavily worn back roads, behind gates surrounded by barbed wire, and into walled compounds. Last chance for animals investigators documented five major dog slaughterhouses in Jilin province. Gaining access to this secretive industry meant gaining the trust of slaughterhouse owners who operate illegally on a massive scale. Trucks arrive all day long with bewildered cargoes of dogs who look desperately for ways to escape their inevitable end. Some dogs collapse and are dragged by their necks, paralyzed with fear. Some lie silently as though loyally awaiting the return of their human companions. Others try to flee, but there is nowhere to hide. The slaughter of dogs in China is a brutal commercial enterprise with over 10 million dogs killed each year to supply restaurants and meat markets. Many dogs have been kidnapped by criminal gangs who patrol city streets stealing any dog they see. LCA went to China in the spring of 2015 and created a permanent investigative team of local activists dedicated to shutting down this industry. Their first two targets Zhaoxiang and Wan Jiao Kiao slaughterhouses. Upon entering Zhaoxiang slaughterhouse, one of the largest in the province, the remnants of the day's slaughter are evident. Over 200,000 dogs are killed here each year. Freshly killed dogs hang from hooks after they've been burned with blow torches and boiled to remove the fur. Dogs are ripped from large transport trucks with metal tongs that clasp around their necks, then thrown into smaller cages where they're wheeled to their deaths. The slaughter continues at Zhaoxiang. Terrified dogs look on as their cage mates are clubbed and then tossed onto the ground still conscious. 